RSS basically is, pod, in a way, it's like podcasting. You know the idea where when somebody has their iPod video player and then they come home from work and they're tired and they stick it on the dock and then when they wake up the next morning and they pull it off and now it's all new content and then they get to watch their new video show like there would be Rocket Boom on there and some of their other podcasts and then again when they come home at night and put it back. So all of that back-end technology is RSS. It's like um, what bloggers use a lot to keep track of all of the data and stuff and so it's in a nutshell, the reason why it's important is because if a video file is really big, like we have big HD file versions of our thing, and so when you click on it, it doesn't necessarily just play right away. It's kind of frustrating. But if you have your computer downloaded automatically overnight onto the computer, then when you wake up or come to work in the morning and you click on it, it's already, since it's local on your computer, it plays right away in full quality and you can sit there and scroll it and everything like that. And then that's what pumps like to the Apple TV and some of the other stuff. So it's, it's almost so, so pervasive that you don't hear about that kind of thing anymore. It's kind of like, don't you know what a converter 2750 is <laughs> under your hood or something like that? <laughs>